Hi, welcome to Pipes Around the House. Today I'm going to show you how to cut angle bead for plasterboarding. For this job, all you need is a good pair of tin snips. The first thing you need to do is find out what length of bead you need. Obviously, do this using a measuring tape. Once you've got your length, you can then apply it to your length of bead. So once you measure the length you need, either mark it with a pen, a pencil, or as what I do, is once I've got the measurement, I just snip where I need it. So you snip this side there, like that, and then you take the other side and you snip in, leaving just a point in the middle. Then if you bend this backwards, like that, and back in again that way, it'll just break off. Another thing I like to do, just so you don't get any sharp edges that cause you any problems, I like to just take off a 45, just like that. You don't have to take off too much, but make sure you leave the middle bit. Just like that, like that, and that's it, job done. For this next bit, I'm going to be using drywall screws. We're going to be putting those through these gaps here into the plasterboard. And the screws I'm using today are only short ones, and they're these. I bought these from Screwfix. They're Easy Drive drywall screws, 3.5 by 25 mil. A box of a thousand, they're about six quid. Bargain. Offer this up here, onto your corner. Show you this close up. There's the screws, and you can see I've only screwed this one side. I haven't done screws down this side because there was just no need. It's solid, nice and tight, and the plaster will firm it up. I've done it across there and across there, and I've done one down the corner there. There we are. Now I'm going to PVA the wall.